Hey everyone, this is my name is Michael and I'm going to be talking about my trailer that I have for sale. It's a Keystone Laredo 303TG. It's got a uh, battery of course, two propane tanks which are buried behind this nice little compartment there. It's got an anti-sway hitch. You can see the, the Reese uh, dual cam I think it's called. It's one of the best anti-sway hitches there is. And um, a new jack we replaced a couple of years ago which works beautifully. A little light over here that goes over the hitch so you can see what you're doing. And got some leveling things there so you know where you are. All right, it's aerodynamic. It's got a great big awning. Goes quite a distance there. Nice pass-through compartment. Goes all the way to the other side. Full of stuff that you can either have or leave if you don't want it. Um, there's a stabilization jacks underneath there, the controller. There's steps going up to the door. There's, uh, they're lit up by the way. There's also a night light light there and then a brighter one on this side here. And uh, a normal hot water heater. This is gas and electric, which you can run simultaneously to heat the water up really fast. Or you can do one at a time if you want that. There are outdoor speakers for outdoor sound. There's jacks for running TV out here, power out here. Refrigerator, which is gas and electric, of course. Uh, outdoor shower. Second set of steps going into the bathroom. Uh, there's also a kitchen. That's what this big huge door is here. And we'll open that up for you so you can see what that looks like. So there's a refrigerator, cabinet space, drawer. And then under this little section here is a sink, of course. Hot and cold. And then underneath here, there is a two burner gas stove. You can see here, it pops up. Plums right into the propane system, and you can cook outside. We also have a hookup behind the bumper, which you really can't see from here very well, but back there for a gas line there. And we have a big barbecue that's um, a couple feet wide that you can cook all sorts of food on. It comes with a trailer if you want it. If you don't, we'll leave it with us. And uh, you can it's made to hook up right to that gas line, so it's outdoors. You don't have to carry propane tanks or anything like that. So normal spare tire. And then on this side here, the normal stuff, it's just mostly pop-outs. As you can see, two pop-outs and uh, the power cord is out here. And the uh, septic black and gray are there as well. The cap is off right now, but it's, uh, it's all there. All right, so moving back on around, we have the other side of the storage compartment. Showing you the jacks under here, the support jacks. These jacks are not designed to hold the trailer up. They're designed to keep bounce away. Um, however, I do have the hitch available if you need it. We also have lot wonderful wheel chocks and some floor mats, water filters, um, you know, extra jacks. If you want to support it and make it stronger, you can certainly do that. All right, let's go inside. And it's the uh, 303 TG. You can see right there. All right, so. Going inside, we have the master bedroom, and we repl replaced the original mattress with a memory foam mattress, which is extremely comfortable. Uh, just It's just luxurious. We also have closets, one on each side for hanging stuff or storing stuff, also cabinets above, and then another closet on the other side. And in front of the closets, there is a mirror, of course. All right, so a couple lights there, another light here, a little window in the bedroom, and of course, central air. All right, so we're moving on to the kitchen. And uh, this stuff you see sitting here is part of the water filtration and UV light, we, which I added on. The spigot here is a filtration water. So if you want filtered water and you want it disinfected in case there's bacteria in the campground, um, we have a system already built in for that. And again, you don't have to use it, but um, certainly it's a nice perk. Double basin sink, faucet, three burner stove, Oven, of course, power supply, gas, uh, propane sensor, uh, fridge, normal, you know, freezer fridge compartment that can run on gas and electric, microwave oven, lots of cabinet space in here, uh, tons of stuff, cabinet space down here. All right, so that's the kitchen, dining room. We have the table and eat around, sit around, so you can actually sit and, and uh, sit quite a few people around here. That table then collapses down to lower down, and those cushions all space out, and that becomes a bed. 
This couch, which is right next to the table, uh, opens up into another hideaway bed if you need to use it. Most people I find don't um, because this trailer will sleep 10. So you're sleeping uh, quite a few people even without that bed. But if you need it, it's there. Uh, there's the sound system. It runs two speakers inside and two speakers outside. You can turn them on or off, of course. It also runs the sound for the TV. And there's our TV. Um, the bedroom does have doors on it. Most trailers don't. It says solid, solid doors, which is nice for a little privacy. And uh, once the doors are closed, the TV can be flipped around. So you can actually watch it on the inside and the outside becomes a mirror. All right, we also installed an alarm system. Fortunately, I've never had a need to use it. We have never been in a really dangerous area, but a couple times, you know, I know people have been in bad areas. We have an alarm, uh, the sensors on the doors and the windows, they're all battery operated, it's all wireless. Uh, and it's great to have, you know, you can lock your trailer when you leave if you're in a sketchy area. And um, lock. And you can also set it when you're home if you want to worry about someone breaking it at night. Again, you know, usually we stay away from areas like that. Um, all the windows crank open. There's, there's blinds, obviously. There's a um, cabinet space above the couch and um, lights above, there's lights next to the couch. There's lights above the dining room set. And again, the speakers, that's, that's near vent, but the speakers inside there and there for music, the TV. There's also obviously air conditioning and you can either run the air conditioning in this area here by opening these vents here, or you can close them and have it ducted to wherever it needs to go. So moving on down here, we have the master bathroom, which has, of course, the toilet, has a door so you can come in and out without having to go through the whole trailer. We have a nice little sink with a cabinet. We have a tub with a shower and a skylight. And then you have, of course, your medicine cabinet, lights above it, and our exhaust fan, which actually works amazingly well for how tiny that thing is. Okay, coat hooks. And there we go. And then we also have a pantry here, which is part of the um, dining room. So going from the dining room to the pantry, this whole cabinet's pantry, and it, you know, obviously holds lots of stuff. All right. And then the master, the uh, uh, bunkhouse, we have the pop out here, which is the couch and the bed above it. That bed does flip up like so. So you don't bump your head on it when you're sitting on the couch. And the couch actually opens up into another bed as well, uh, if you need to use it. There's a drawer underneath the couch, which opens up. And as a drawer underneath the, uh, di the, the dining room couch as well. This slides out like so. So you can see lots of storage in there. All right. The uh, back to the bunk house. And again, you can see the heat vents in the floor. Air conditioning vents in the ceiling, lights in the ceiling, lights here, lights there, lights there. They put lots of lights in this place. Lots of windows, uh, big windows. You can open them, obviously, get some airflow. And then on the other side of the bunkhouse, you have the um, other bunk, hot bunk here. And we have an entertainment center, obviously a ladder. There's drawers and there's an entertainment center, which has a TV and DVD player, which was not did not come with the trailer, but we added it on. I think that's everything. There's a bunch of extras. If you look at the description, things we added on later, like the water filtration system, like the memory foam mattress, but there's actually more than that. And I'm not thinking of all of them right now, but if you read down below, you'll see all the extra things we threw in. Always improving things, right? All right. Hope you're interested. Let me know if you're interested.